We're here with Cora Clyburn, who is a dancer and winner of the 2013 Melissa Ingstrom Youth Artist Award. Welcome, Cora. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for joining us on our show. You had a big event this weekend. Would you I like did. I was dancing with Arcos Dance in a production at Site Santa Fe called A Kinetic Encounter, and it was a very neat collaboration between the artist and the dancers, and we had the opportunity to move the audience through the exhibit um, in a very different sort of production. So, so you had paintings or, and, and then you danced? Yes, the exhibit had a mix of um, sort of sculpture work and um, paintings and some interesting uh, just installations in general and we the audience was standing the whole time but they sort of walked through the exhibit and saw little vignettes of our dancing as they went and we guided them through and it was a really great experience. How long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for about 11 or 12 years now although of course the first few years um, were just sort of pre-ballet and introduction, uh, introductory classes, but I've been um, a dancer at Moving People since I was four years old and training with um, Ron Stewart and Leila Amos and um, a whole number of other teachers, um, but they were the starting um, teachers for me. and. And you're a senior, and where do you go to yes. school? Yes, I'm a senior at Desert Academy. I've, this is my fourth year there, so I came in ninth grade, and we're at a new campus um, for a second year now. And what, what are your plans for the future? Well, I am currently applying to colleges. Um, I'm mainly looking at West Coast schools. I'm very interested in finding a great school where I can pursue dance um, at the same time as I'm pursuing something scientific. I know that's vague. Um, I have interests in anthropology and archaeology as well as math. Um, and I'm just interested in finding a way to bring all of those interests together. And it seems like um, I've spent the fast, past few summers in San Francisco at summer dance intensives. And so it feels like that's the culture I know best. And so. I'm really looking to head in that direction, hopefully. So you're a dancer, but you also sort of have this mathematics, scientific aspect I hope too? so, yes. That's what I aspire towards. Um, I really don't know a whole lot as of right now um, about what career. I just want to explore a lot of different things. And the more that I can combine all of my different interests, the better that would be. The, I think I'm really looking forward what inspires on. you when you dance? Um, <laughs> I love, I just love moving. Um, and there's something about just being able to communicate without words that's really, really special to me and to communicate with other dancers um, on that sort of different level and to work with um, all sorts of different choreographers. It's the whole process of it uh, for me, just being in the studio and working on pieces. Um, I have to say performing is not my favorite part, it's the process. Um, and I just, in terms of inspiration, the freedom of it um, at the same time as you're working as hard as possible and you have to sort of you don't have, you're working with very set structures of dance um, in terms of ballet and modern, but the ability to morph those and learn about yourself in so many different ways and work with other dancers, it's, the whole process is just really, really special to me. It sounds like, it sounds like it's a very collaborative process as yes, well. Yes, it is, and it just teaches you so much about yourself and about the body, and um, I think everyone is meant to dance and to move and to it's a, it's a have wonderful. the privilege to be able to study dances. I feel I, I so, think, so lucky. I think as an audience member watching a dancer, it's very wonderful to 
see someone physically express themselves in a way that we cannot verbally express exactly. them. It's a visual expression. And speaking of visual expression, I understand you're a painter as well. Well, it's, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a, um, I mean, there's so many talented artists in Santa Fe. Um, for me, it's something that I just love doing, um, along with photography. I think photography is my primary um, interest in terms of those sorts of visual arts. And um, I've had the opportunity of studying with really great teachers at Desert and um, having an inspiring landscape to work with around me. Um, but it's both of those are um, ways, other ways of communicating, just like dance for me, in a way where you don't have to use words, I guess. And um, I love uh, finding details in nature, especially to communicate. Um, and just experimenting with those things is very interesting to me. And you're part of the environmental club also? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm president of the Outdoors and Sustainability Club at Desert Academy. Um, and I've been a part of it for a few years now since I came to Desert. And there's a great number of students from all different grades who are working on, this year we're uh, sort of changing our mode of direction. Um, but last year we were working a lot on um, garden and grounds work, so with our new campus, um, working on planting things. We received um, a grant for our garden, which is really, really awesome, and we have been just working to see what we can do. It's We're just getting going um, at this point in the year. In that? Um, I think my mom has had a huge influence on me. She is uh, does a lot of climate work and she's um, a solar energy consultant and she uh, just has such a vast knowledge of not only as a gardener and just an appreciation of the outdoors but also um, the importance of preservation and the fact that every individual's actions do have an impact and how important it is to be able to express that and work on being a part of a movement of any sort, I think. Um, she's had a major influence on me and in general, just the environment around me in New Mexico. It's, I feel so lucky um, where I live. It's so every direction you look, there's something beautiful to appreciate and just that um, love of the outdoors, I think, drew me towards the club. Well, Cora, it's such a pleasure to have you on our show. I'm sure your mother is proud. I know all of us at City Hall and the mayor, you're just a credit to Santa Fe. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. For I coming really on the show. It. Just delightful to meet you. Cora Clyburn, dancer and winner of the 2013 Melissa Ingstrom Youth Award. Back to you, Andrew.